Here we have our Mercury LP1502 board. This is our controller that will host the other downstream SIO modules. So starting from the right hand side of the board, working our way down, we have this first terminal block. These first two terminals are where we will receive our voltage in to power the board. Below that are terminals for our enclosure tamper. Below that, we have our system fault and AC fault that we wired previously from the FPO150. Down here, we have a ethernet input. This is a required um, connection, so we can route our traffic back to and receive the configuration from the QX gateway. Moving our way down to TB3, this is our three wire 485 bus. This is our SIO bus where we'll connect all of the downstream MR52 and MR50 boards. Below that are our terminal blocks for all of the uh, corresponding inputs. They go in sets of two. So the first two pins, for example, on TB4 uh, could host the input from a door position sensor. Uh, pins three and four on TB4 could be our RECs, just as an example for a single door. Moving on to the right side, we have a battery uh, backup for our configuration with the LP board. Out of the box, you're going to want to remove this little sticker as well as this jumper right here. We're going to want to move that from the off to the on position. So that way, if we lose in the event of a power loss, um, we do not lose our configuration on the board. It will continue to operate uh, or save configuration, I should say. We have a terminal block here that is responsible for addressing um, uh, and setting the password for default access. So we have a, an entire knowledge base dedicated to uh, setting up this board for the first time. So I challenge you to go to our knowledge base section and look up IP addressing the LP1502. You'll find out how to use these switches here. Down below that, we have our reader interface. This is where you're gonna to wanna to connect your readers. We support two readers on this board. Uh, please refer to the, either on the back of the reader itself or from that manufacturer's documentation on how to wire it, what colors correspond with uh, voltage ground, as well as clock and LED. And then down here, um, two blocks down, we have reader one, reader two. We then have our start of our output block. So we have starting at pin one, this would be our normally open pin. Pin two would be common. And then pin three would be normally closed for output one, for example. So uh, between the inputs on the right hand side for our door position sensor and our recs, and for our output to lock, uh, which would then tie back into our C8 that we mentioned earlier, uh, that is a sample door configuration. 